Oh, hi guys, it's finally done. So let me just uh, show you it actually working. All the digits are working now. So two, zero, one, and uh, three. Ta da! So, uh, yeah, this is the seven segment display, uh, servo driven. Each of the segment is has a servo on it, and that servo is what flips these faces back and forth. The whole thing is on a piece of plywood. The uh, faces are also made out of plywood. Uh, the uh, f actual uh, yellow face it actually uses cardboard that is uh, very, very bright yellow. All the mount are 3D printed, custom made. That was a lot of fun. And um, the whole thing is driven by this custom uh, shield that I made myself with the uh, perf board. I had to use a uh, some wires over here to uh, adjust for the wackiness of the Arduino uh, uh, pins, how they don't quite line up on one of the set of the pins. But it's all working. It's been a long journey. I have to uh, thank uh, my maker friends who taught me a lot about construction, about woodworking, different kinds of glues, uh, the jigs. The, without which this would not be possible because the aligning these segments were hell <laughs> but it's done so let me talk a little bit about the uh, the shield here um, I realized that there uh, there are um, s servo shields that will drive you know like 16 servos at once but we actually need 28 so I actually probably need two of those shields but I had this idea that uh, what if you could drive a, sec a seven segment display uh, with a servo and treat it as if each servo is like an LED. So doing a, a, a matrix just like an LED. But the issue is uh, unlike an LED where you could just put power, you know, one on the positive side and then one on the negative side and wall it up. A servo also require a PWM pin that actually pulses it and that controls the orientation, the angle of the servo. So you need also uh, those PWM pins, but we don't have 28 PWM pins. So my, my thought was that I would drive the positive side of the power for the servo within a digit or column. So that would be driven by one of these Darlington pairs. There's four Darlington pairs there. Each of them drives the column. So that drives the positive side of the uh, servo uh, segments that is per digit. On the negative side, I wire it on the uh, segments. So the current will basically go through what digit, let's say we pick this digit, and uh, col the column here I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the row here will determine which one of those segments within that digit will light up, i.e. give power. And then once it has power, of course, then we need the PWM to tell it exactly what angle. So that's exactly what it does. When I put a digit in there, the software figure out, uh, oh yeah, it, it remembers what the, whether it's flipped one way or the other. So it only flips the one that needs to be flipped. And then when it needs to flip it, it will just basically say, okay, which one do I need to control? So it will light up, it will give power positive to the right digit, it will give the right negative to the right segment, and then it will also have the proper PWM value for that particular segment. So that's the gist of it. It was a lot of work, but it's been a lot of fun. Um, what else can we talk about? So yeah, basically this uh, shield here only four of the PWM pins are used there is no extra uh, chips that will actually do any PWM externally it's all driven all the PWM is driven by the Arduino using just regular servo that right command and uh, I still have a couple pins left over the serial pins the digital zero and one is actually being used to uh, control it so there is a C sharp app over here that I wrote to actually just send characters, simple commands. It will send things like 
D0 and it will set the digit to 0 and um, the, the other pin there are two more pins that's left over so I'm not sure probably I, I could use that for a clock or something so this could be uh, uh, act standalone and display time or temperature or something the application I haven't really given it much thought so I think we talk about how it works the columns and rows and the PWM and uh, yeah the thing that I probably uh, learn a lot from and surprisingly is how hard the mechanical part of this was I thought oh I'll just put a servo on a little mount and flip it back and forth it was easy to get it working but it was hard to get it perfect such as they they look good um, so like I said thanks to all my, my maker friends who helped me with this uh, and I think it looked pretty good thanks for watching guys bye bye